I've been obsessed with this bird app that Curtis's grandma showed me. It's called the Merlin Bird ID. If you love nature and animals and birds and all the things, then you'll love this. But you just rec you record and it picks up on all the birds in the area and will tell you which ones are around. And it's been cool to like start to learn how what different birds sound like and stuff. But then it'll give you a list, you know, and a picture and everything. And it's just been so much fun. Like the other day I went on a walk and I got all of these and there's some really cool ones like an uncommon one, which is, I guess is a yellow throat. It said, it said it was uncommon, but I got a woodpecker, a hawk, you know, the basics like cardinals and stuff like that. But then chickadees, finches, gnat catchers, which I've never heard of, fly catchers, which I've never heard of. And a crow, obviously everybody knows what that sounds like, but it's just been so fun. <laughs> and it makes my walks more enjoyable. I usually walk once a day, between 30 minutes to an hour a day. I try to, it's just good for the soul. And I just love to walk and just look at the nature and everything. So it's been so fun. But also if you, you drink matcha and you haven't tried putting strawberry or berry puree in your matcha yet you're so missing out i love matcha but sometimes i want to spice it up a little bit and i get kind of bored so i've been i've been putting berry puree into it it's just fun for summer and i love it but we got some stuff to do today for the wedding there's always something to be done but today i need to go to hobby lobby and pick up some things um, because they're having a memorial day sale so i need to get some frames and a wedding card box and i might on the way stop at American Eagle because I have not shopped in quite a while for jean shorts and things like that. So I'm gonna pop in there. I think they're having a sale also. In this video, we're definitely gonna do my oyster shell wedding favor project. I'm gonna try and at least clean them today and get them ready to go for the project. So we could at least do that. We might also go see Curtis play beach volleyball because he's in a tournament today. So he plays a couple times a week um, in a league, but then they also have tournaments on Saturdays and it's super, super fun. Such a good vibe. Everybody's in a good mood and Today is a beautiful, sunny, hot day, so it might be kind of fun to go up there and, and watch him for a little bit and get something to eat.
So Curtis was kind enough to help me collect all of these oyster shells for my wedding favor project. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. They've been sitting in a bucket of bleach here, bucket of bleach water. And now I'm gonna go ahead and scrub them down really good. Got my little scrubbing tools here. And then we're gonna go ahead and start working on it. Right, I scrubbed them down with soap and water and now I just towel dried them and I'm actually going to spray them with um, alcohol too. And then let them dry before I move on to the next step. Okay, these are officially dry and I'm going to go ahead and paint them with this metallic pearl paint. It's really sheer. It just gives like a really pretty pearly sheen to it. And I was gonna do all white. Some of the crafts I've seen online just completely cover up the uniqueness of the shell. Things like this just amaze me when it comes to God, like this beautiful creation. It's just so cool to me. So you can see the difference here between the one that's not painted and the one that is painted. It has just this really pretty pearl sheen to it. And once I complete all of these, I'm also gonna paint the edges gold because our colors are your typical black and white and then an accent color is gonna be gold. So I'll paint the edges gold and then I will also add a gloss over that and write each person's name on it. So I really don't want it to be perfect. I want it to look like someone handmade it, if you know what I mean.
So I'm realizing that I still have this childhood fear that a bee is going to crawl into my pop when I'm at the pool and I'm gonna swallow the bee when I drink my pop. I don't think I realized I still had this fear until today. Uh, I saw a bee like flying around it and I immediately remembered that that was a fear of mine. So weird, right? The stuff that we remember from childhood that still haunts us. <laughs> Anyway, I am finished with work. I just took a shower and now Curtis and I are gonna go to his apartment complex to add me to his lease because after we get married, I'm gonna move into his place. Reason being is just because his place is bigger than mine. We, we both have one bedroom apartments, but his definitely has more space than mine does. And he also has more time left in his lease. Mine's up in July and his is all the way to till May, I think, but we might see if they'll let us move into a two bedroom. That would be really, really cool. Guys, I'm realizing that my cell phone has so many problems with the audio for some reason. If, if anybody knows how to fix that, let me know. But I'm noticing in the videos, just from doing these vlogs, that the audio goes in and out for some reason. It just sounds horrible. So now I'm like, I actually have to take my camera out and vlog when I'm in the car or wherever if I want there to be sound because it just sounds terrible. I don't know, maybe it's a good thing because I'm getting practice using the camera all the time, but let me know if you know what's wrong with it. Maybe there's water in it or something, but the phone is like four or five years old. This iPhone has lasted me for so long, which has been a blessing, but I wanna be able to use it, you know? Like the actual footage looks good, but the audio is just crap. So after we get back, I'm gonna try and make a healthy dinner of salmon, some cucumber salad, and then I was thinking about making greens and beans, which is an Italian dish, but the store did not have escarole, so I had to get Swiss chard and kale. And I don't love kale, but you know, I'm trying to be a little healthy. So tomorrow I'm super pumped because it's my bachelorette little get together and it's gonna be a sunset boat ride downtown and it's supposed to be 80 degrees and sunny so I'm hoping for an epic sunset. I'm definitely gonna record it and I'm just excited to celebrate with some of the women that I'm close with here that have really become my family because I moved here with no family here, no friends, nothing. And they've been so sweet and kind to me and just they just are good people, good humans with warm hearts. So. I'm excited to see them and spend the evening with them. And that's probably gonna be the end of this vlog, I think. We're also going boating Saturday with Curtis's aunt, so I might record that too, but I'm not sure. We'll see how long this video is, but.
I am just finishing getting ready for my little bachelorette party tonight. I'm gonna spray this on my face. It's the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I got it for the wedding. It says it's a 16 hour wear. I've never tried it, but I'm kind of like testing it out tonight to see if my makeup stays. It's not too hot. I think it's like 80, it'll probably be in the 70s when we're on the boat. It smells really good. Hopefully it does what it says, you know? I'm gonna wear these pearls too that my mom gave me, but I didn't like the length of them. So I actually want it to be more like a choker and I just added some links to it. It was really easy to do. And then I added a little butterfly to it just cause I mean, why not, you know? So I'm gonna wear this. I feel like it looks much better as a choker. Like the length was just odd. It's kind of pretty. I definitely am wearing pearls on my wedding day on my little sparkly belt and my earrings. So I also made those oyster wedding favors. So kind of like a theme going here. I'm trying to figure out what shoes to wear. So I have two different options. I'm trying to decide between these sparkly flip flops and cowboy boots. Cause I feel like we're gonna be walking a little bit. So I don't want to be crazy uncomfortable, but I'm kind of, liking the cowboy boots better. I like that. Hi! Hi. <laughs> Yeah. 